The principle of original horizontality states that sediments that are deposited by gravity form as nearly horizontal beds. The principle of superposition states that each layer of an undeformed sedimentary sequence is younger than the one beneath it and older than the one above it. The principle of faunal succession states that the sedimentary strata in an outcrop contain fossils in a definite sequence. This means that the same fossils found in different rock outcrops are the same age. When a rock layer has been eroded and another rock layer has been deposited over top of it, it becomes a disconformity. An angular unconformity is when tectonic forces have folded strata layers, which have then, in turn, been eroded off. Once they've been eroded, more strata layers have been laid on top. Nonconformity occurs when sedimentary beds are laid over top of igneous or metamorphic rocks. Cross-cutting relationships can be used to establish the relative age of an igneous intrusion or a fault. When an intrusion or a fault is present, it tells us that the deformation must have taken place after the sedimentary beds were deposited. Using the principles of stratigraphy and cross-cutting relationships, 19th century geologists were able to judge the relative age of rocks in relation to one another. Within this information they were able to create a geological time scale. However, this time scale was incomplete since it could not tell the age of the rock layers that appeared below the earliest fossils.